Guys, what is up? Max Renault Borderlands 3 video, and today we're talking about Ricochet Wizard, one of the genuinely most fun builds that I've ever made and played. Um, this build makes all of the old Ricochet weapons extremely strong, and there's new weapons found in Arms Race that work extremely well with this build. I cannot stress enough how excited I am about this and how much I'm looking forward to you guys trying this build. Real quick before we get into the video, my goal is to hit 150k subscribers before the end of the year. If you guys want to help me reach that goal, I do appreciate you hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed the build. And with that, guys, let's get right into the video. Real quick disclaimer before this video starts, this build and video were filmed and edited before the 11.9 patch happened, which moved some Zane skills around. For example, it moved Death Follows close to seeing red and seeing red to Death Follows close. These changes are minor, and because we're already down fully to the tree. Uh, it doesn't change this build at all. It doesn't change our gear. It doesn't change our skill trees. Um, so just letting you guys know that the, my skill tree looks a little different than your skill tree might look, but it is the same spec and the gear and everything is not affected. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. So showing on the screen right now is the skill tree for Ricochet Wizard. Now, before we talk about the skill tree and all of the decisions that were made there, we need to talk about the overall mechanics and why this build works so well. Now, this build works the way that it does, mainly because of Zane's fourth skill tree, and particularly this skill, Eraser. Now, Eraser, if you play Borderlands 2, works uh, similar to Boar, and reads Zane's critical hits pierce through enemies for all weapons, dealing increased damage for every enemy pierced. Now, Eraser works fine with normal weapons. However, when you're using Ricochet weapons, Eraser becomes absolutely insane. Now... Ricochet weapons, when you shoot an enemy, um, such as like Jacob's weapons, will spawn a ricochet, and the ricochet will get eraser. Even though it's not like boring right through an enemy, that ricochet hitting that enemy and then moving to a different one to hit them automatically procs the amp damage uh, or the damage increase from eraser. And what this allows us to do is turn weapons that were ricochet weapons that got nerfed, such as the recursion, into absolute monsters because every time the recursion bounces between an enemy, it procs a racer and the projectiles on it just get even stronger. Now, we'll talk about weapons in a second, but to pair that, uh, we are using the Hustler. Now, the Hustler reads damaging enemy with a non-critical hit, grants Zane a stacking uh, critical hit increase, damage increase, and a chance for non-critical hits to score a critical hit. We're mainly using this for the chance of non-critical hits to score a critical hit because that will allow all of our ricochets, which we can't really aim because when you shoot, uh, you can aim for the head, but the ricochets, you can't really uh, direct where they go. Um, those ricochets will crit and get a racer, and our initial shot will crit and get a racer. Now, the Hustler class mod is not the best class mod uh, for Zane. It's works with fake crits. Fake crits are like added gun damage. However, that is completely irrelevant really for this because even though they're fake crits, they proc eraser and they're going to get these critical hit damage bonuses. You are going to do more damage if you aim for the head with this build, which you should be doing anyways. However, uh, of all my testing with Seeing Dead, with Executor, with Zane's new class mod, The Spy, 
for using these ricochet weapons, the Hustler outshines all of the other ones, and that is why we're using the Hustler. I will have builds for Seeing Dead, for the Spy, for Executor. However, this is a ricochet build, and ricochets just work the best with the Hustler class mod. Now, before we talk about skills, we're going to talk about gear and what the best anointments are. Now, the recursion absolutely shines. Um, whether you're using a uh, times two recursion or a times one recursion, uh, both work extremely well. And I recommend using splash or next two mags. Next two mags or splash are going to be the two best anointments. Uh, I'm using next two mags on pretty much everything except for the recursion. And the recursion absolutely shines. The recursion can do bossing with this build because its shots will just like bore through enemies and it will full clear rooms. However, um, you guys know I love the recursion. There are a ton of other weapons that work with this. The weapon that shines, uh, like it's absolutely insane, is the critical thug. The critical thug is like kind of a stronger version of the recursion. It works really, really well. Um, the critical thug, when you create an enemy, it ricochets, ricochets to every nearby enemy and the projectile does a ton of damage. It does splash damage and we're going to be critting on basically all of our shots with the Hustler, which allows the Critical Thug to full clear rooms, similar to how the Recursion works, uh, but with the Critical Thug. So if you don't like using the Recursion or you're bored of the Recursion, check out the Critical Thug because it is extremely strong. I will say that for bossing, the Critical Thug doesn't do the crazy like boring through an enemy that the Recursion does, um, but for mobbing, the Critical Thug is extremely strong. Now, some other favorite weapons that I've kind of tossed aside work again with this build the redistributor is very very strong with this um the old clear speed that the redistributor used to have with zane is back using this build uh the redistributor clears extremely fast other weapons the lucian's call works really well the robin's call works really well um reflux works well any weapon that is a jacobs will work really well with this build um the maggie is insane the rowan's call is nice the Hellwalker is straight up gross with this. Um, so many fun weapons that you can make extremely viable and they will be room clearing for you as well as you can do bossing because of this crazy boar skill. Now, for gear, um, for my shield, a lot of the times I'm using the version O.M and that'll change. Um, so whether if you're using single pellet weapons um, for example, like the Critical Thug or like a Redistributor, you're going to get the most uh, damage or the best damage out of a O.M, which is a Amp Shield and will also drop us uh, damage when it depletes. We don't really care about the damage circle, mainly here for the Amp damage. Um, that works extremely strong with the Critical Thug and the Recursion. However, if you're looking to rock like a Robin's Call, Hellwalker, and Maggie, definitely recommend the uh, One-Shotter Shield, which will give all of the pellets amp damage versus uh, one shot shield uh, doesn't work as well as the O.M for single pellet weapons. For our anointments, we're going to be rocking ASCs on both our grenade and our shield. Next two mags on pretty much all of our weapons, uh, unless you can get, get splash. Hustler, uh, god roll on the hustler would be plus five into brain freeze because we're going to be critting so much, um, especially with multi-pellet weapons, you're just going to be freezing literally everything. And because we're going to be freezing everything with our points into brain freeze, because we're always going to be critting and everything's going to crit, we're going to use an icebreaker victory rush, giving us V2 damage increase. This works very well because pretty much everything is frozen on this build and you're going to get a multiplicative damage increase against all of those frozen enemies plus cryo efficiency. If you can get area of effect damage on icebreaker victory rush you were going to be good the other stuff is just nice stuff to have and that leads us to our skill tree now we're going to talk about the uh, purple tree first because that's the new one the most exciting one and we're starting off with mana focus activating our act i'll talk about the purple tree in depth and the other trees are kind of just going to skip over a little bit but uh, man of focus activating an action skill grants zane increased accuracy and handling for a short time this effect stacks I really, really like this. For example, if we're holding a Maggie, that is our accuracy, our uh, reticle, and you can see our accuracy. However, as soon as we start activating our action skill, uh, we could basically turn the Maggie into a laser. And because we're basically a crit build, uh, being able to nail those crits is really, really nice. Um, 
And once again, you should still be aiming for the crits with the Hustler, but it'll allow our Ricochets to crit, um, which is even better for us. Um, we're going Headsman's Hand for that increased critical hit damage. Just works well for this build. We're going for Commitment. Kill skill, Zane gains increased gun damage and action skill cooldown rate. This is a stacking uh, gun damage bonus that is going to be activating every time we shoot our cannon. So if you're going to go into a boss or you're about to like shoot Wotan split, you're going to want to make sure that you procced um, your kill skills um, or your action skills as much as possible. Fugitive, it's just nice to have. Not really needed, but uh, it is nice to have. Domino effect. Now, you can go here uh honestly five out of five into art of war or five out of five into domino effect i personally went domino effect for the fire rate and reload speed and if you score a critical hit with our action skill uh we double that effect it's just nice to have art of war is good and works well with this build however um the gun damage bonus from it we already have so much freaking gun damage with our commitment with eraser that I went for the reload speed and fire rate just because it'll allow us to keep up our DPS with uh, increasing it as well. And lastly, our man Flint. Now, our man Flint is V2 damage increase, uh, same as our uh, Icebreaker, and is extremely strong. With this build, you're going to want to be aiming down sight for the most damage. You don't need to, but uh, we are specced into that, and I uh, definitely recommend aiming down sights for increased bonus damage. Next up, uh, we're going to go blue tree and green tree pretty quickly um, because we're already pretty long into this video. Um, mainly, uh, big changes here as uh, all the typical stuff you see in a build. The big change here is good misfortune. Because we're not using seeing dead and because we're proccing our kill skills whenever we're using our mantis cannon, I decided to put three points into good misfortune. This will allow us to get more duration back and allow us to keep our shield up longer. Um, our shield is going to give us a nice gun damage bonus, and having the barrier up will increase our survivability, so I like to have it up as much as possible. Um, I prioritize playing dirty because we're not using as many fire rate weapons. Playing dirty will have a bigger impact on things like the uh, critical thug on the recursion than it will on... Um, uh, things like the Robin's Call. However, if you are going to mainly use multi-pellet weapons, uh, you can definitely spec more violent violence, but I've mainly been using the Recursion and the Critical Thug. Um, and then lastly, Green Tree, we're getting Confident Confidence. Now, we don't need to use Sentinel Cryo anymore. Uh, that is why I'm not spec'd into or not using the Sentinel. We're going to be using next two mags, which would just be better for us, a little bit more versatile as well. And then we're using... Uh, confident confidence for more gun damage more accuracy brain freeze which i already said is absolutely amazing and we're using ready for action because uh shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay is just nice to have because we are using an amp shield uh, if you're not using an amp shield and you're using something like a uh old god instead i'd recommend putting points into adrenaline and yeah guys that's about it for the build i do play on mayhem 11 now so i don't really need to talk about my mayhem modifiers if you want to play on mayhem 10 this build can obviously do mayhem 10 but yeah i've been playing on mayhem 11 don't have to worry about modifiers it's just nice quality of life to have uh the save file for this build will be in the discord if you guys want to give it a try it's so much fun i cannot recommend it enough i will catch you guys in the next one and if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and uh with that guys catch you in the next one peace I was putting in the